Today we have the honor to receive Dr. Olobumi Abayomi Omotesho, Deputy yes. v Vice Chancellor of Ilorin University. I also would like to use this opportunity to acknowledge Dr. Olobumi Atolani that organized this meeting for us. Thank you. Now, I am going to present some rules and disclosure that will allow all our partners to have the same amount of time to make a presentation, okay? Rule okay. number one, our interview will, will last about 30 minutes, more or less, okay? Yeah. Okay. Rule number two, our interview will be distributed under a Creative Commons license, so it can be shared on several platforms. Okay. Number three, all our questions are the same to all our partners. And number four, I am a professor, I am not a professional reporter. So this is a big <laughs> limitation, okay? okay? So, Professor Omotesho, yes. uh, my first question is, what is the oldest course offered by the Eilerin University and when it was founded? Yes. Wes, thank you very much. Um, University of Illinois was founded on in August 1975. Yes, yeah, almost to the day. Exactly 49 years ago. Um, the university started with three faculties. Uh, so all the courses, all courses in the, those three faculties started about the same time. We had Faculty of Arts, Faculty of Science, and Faculty of Education. Those were the foundation faculties um, the university started with 49 years ago. Yes. This is very good. L let, let me add that um, we Please. have grown from, from those three faculties to 16 faculties. 16 faculties today? 16 faculties today, yes. Oh, that's a lot. Yes. Professor? Currently, which course is the most uh, that the students are looking for the most to make? Uh... Most. Yes. Interestingly, our admission process is going on right now. And um, the most popular course that you have the largest number of applicants is um, medicine, the medical program, and um, also uh, nursing, which is also a medical program. Uh, I think the attraction is the fact that it's a professional course and um, alumni from the faculty, almost every continent, they, they are very mobile and their certificate is well accepted in other areas. So it makes it very attractive to people who want to come into the University of Illinois. Also, to mention that um, consistently in the last more than a, more than decade, going to decades, Unilon the most preferred university in Nigeria in terms of number of applicants that want to come into the university. We've led consistently over. Okay. Yes. So, which areas? So of Please. OK. So apart from uh, medicine, we also have a lot of, because uh, the MBBS program, that's the medical program, and the nursing, they are both uh, allied to medicine. We also have a lot of applicants in pharmacy, uh, law, and engineering, and accounting. Those are also uh, very well demanded programs. But number one is medicine. Number one is medicine, okay. and number two... Number one is medicine, number two is nursing. Nursing. Perfect. So, third question. Which areas of research have the highest number of scientific publications at the institution, and which courses do they excel? 
Okay. Um, for this question, I looked at the Scopus database for of publications, and the highest scientific publications as relates to University of Illinois are in medicine biological and agricultural sciences and engineering those are the, uh, they have the highest number of scientific uh, publications on the scopus database that's very good Thanks. so next question remember that i am not a professional reporter okay <laughs> we have some limitations Yes. So, no, I I need let let me let me add some things there. Please, please. The, our vice chancellor has a program when he came in when he came on board almost two years ago now, that um, he wants to make University of Ilori number one in Nigeria. Okay. And uh, within the top ten in Africa, and the top five hundred in the world. That's very. It's, Goal. Towards achieving this goal, um, a lot of things have been put in place. We are encouraging uh, clusters, research clusters, along the lines of the SDGs. And um, we're encouraging people, and there, there's a lot of effort going on in terms of get, trying to get grants from various all across the world to be able to help in fulfilling this goal. Perfect. Thank you. Now, question number four. How many post-graduation courses, like master and doctor, does the University of Eilurin currently offer? And which are the areas um, of knowledge? Yes. University of Eilurin currently has three, 340 postgraduate programs spread across the 16 faculties uh this year the postgraduates um we normally recruit our students our phd students in twice every year we just run in one round of applications now we had a total of about 2136 applicants for the postgraduate program that is for both masters and the doctorate. Uh, but the total number of postgraduate students that we have on ground now is about 7,523 across various programs. It's but the most public, university. yes. The, the, the most popular is the MPH, the Masters in Public Health. The Public Health Program is the most sought after uh, my postgraduate program, master's program. Then we also have um, the master's in educational management is also well sought after. Then we have uh, master's in computer science and then the master's in law. Maybe because the vice chancellor is a lawyer, it's also a very <laughs> popular program. <laughs> no bias on this question, no bias. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So for the for the PhD, um, the most popular one is the Educational Technology Program. Then we have a, a PhD in and Development Studies is also very popular. And the third one again is Educational Management. You know, for the medical thing, the, the they are more focused on their professional uh, things, not the master the PhD. It's just They're, coming into the medical. They, they get more focus on the career. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it makes sense. It's a good career, yes. and demanding. Yes. Now, professor, moving yes. to my next question: When international students wish to study in Ilorin University, what yes. is the process from the submission of the application of the students uh, to the? Uh, the proposal to their arrival in the university, how it works. Okay. Yes, we we have a center for international education that um, coordinates activities the outside world. 
So the center works very closely with the postgraduate school. We have a postgraduate school, uh, School of Postgraduate uh, Studies. And um, students that are interested, they uh, register on the university portal. And these applications are harvested by the Center for International Education. They normally engage with the students and then they would um, they, 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 they will now coordinate the activities in terms of linking up with the postgraduate school and then linking up with the departments. Sometimes some of the students might have uh, identified somebody they want to work with. And um, so there's a, a kind of linkage is, is organized between the proposed supervisor and the uh, prospective student. So, uh, the, but the point, uh, international education, we call it CIE, plays a very vital part in terms of this linkage. So, we most of our processes are automated. In fact, we are working also now to also improve on our uh, website, on our uh, portal, and um, I'm sure that before the end of this month everything will be up and running very well. But we do almost all our activities digitally, online. Perfect. So, Professor, my next question. Yes. Uh, how are the facilities and infrastructure designed to accommodate international students? Does the, univer the, does the university offer a place for housing or a university residence for the students? If so, how are these options? How do they work? How, how do, do you apply to, to be there? Yes, um, I told you that University of Illinois uh, has been consistently been the most sought after university in Nigeria. And just last week, we got an award and we have an existing international hostel, but the vice chancellor has suggested, in fact, we, the, the, the drawings are up and we want to start uh, working on what we call um, a, an international student. Using the grants that we just got now, the drawings have been finalized and work will start on it. We want it to be a world-class kind of hostel and um, it's not going just to international students because we also want the students to be able to mix with um, some of the students that we have, our own students too. So we are thinking of making it like um, 80, 80 to 90% international students with about 10% local students so that they don't feel isolated. So work Perfect. has already started from putting that hostel. But we have one at the moment, and um, that doesn't offer too many uh, accommodation places. So that's one of the reasons, that's one of the intentions of the new hostel. And we are, the agency that uh, organizes university admission for undergraduate programs in Nigeria is called the Joint admissions and matriculation board so we have decided since they gave us the award we have decided to name that hostel the uh, joint admissions and matriculation board international hostel so That's work very has good. Started on that. yes very good yes. i want to make more questions but i will stick to the to the list so okay. I make a fair interview, okay? Okay, okay. If you allow, in the future, more interviews. More, okay. Now, question number seven. Yes. The institution, the University of Eilerin, is participating yes. for the second time in the okay. Sounder Science Conference. Yes. Uh, which follows a unique organizational model involving mm. multiple universities hmm. what benefits does the university expect to bring to its students by engaging in this international event yes 
Well, we, we are looking forward that when our students participate in this event, they will be, the exposures will be uh, much more open because, I mean, meeting with people from all, that's a very important aspect of education. So we expect that uh, the latest trends uh, be able to relate with their peers from across the world. And um, the internet has made the world a, a, a village. But I mean, going out and really interacting with these people will definitely improve their exposure and let them have different perspectives from what they have been used to, particularly for those that have not been so exposed in the past. So we are hoping that um, they will be able to come up with better quality research in terms of um, the exposure, opening their eyes to other opportunities they hitherto had not thought of. We also um, definitely we, we are thinking that they will be able to collaborate better with people in areas where there are better facilities uh, to be able to help them all around to be much better students. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, this is a very important question. Considering the challenges posed by our different time zones, yes. what suggestions would you give to the event organizers to maximize the participation of the students from Eilerin University? Yes. Um, the, the time difference is a big challenge, but it's one that we cannot really do much about. Yes. Um, I think, I think um, it's the interest. No matter, I've had some times to wake up in the night and um, do some online calls and all of that. I think uh, it's the interest that is important. Uh, that can always be worked around to see, okay, what time will be, when we are discussing with Dr. Atolani, uh, the best time for this meeting, uh, given the kind of schedule, I would, for example, uh, have preferred maybe later in, in the evening in Nigeria. So I I, I don't think the, the time is going to be a big challenge. For, Very good. Yes, because it's something we can't do anything about. We can always try to move our... Uh, schedules to be able to interact very well. Thank you very much, Professor. And now we arrive to the last question. Mm. By participating in an international event at no cost to the students, the university demonstrates its commitment to provide the students with valuable opportunities. How do you access the importance of student participation in international events for their academic and professional development? Yes, our students are very important to us. And um, we always say that without students, we won't have teachers, we won't have a vice chancellor, we won't have a deputy vice chancellor, you won't have anybody. So the all our activities are student-centric. And um, we are very proud of our students, and they've also taken that. In fact, I, I just left the ceremony where the new students' uh, executives are being sworn in. They are just we, they were elected a few weeks ago. They are being sworn in. So one of the very important things that we want, like I said, the goal of the vice chancellor, the one uh, ten five hundred. So we want to, as much as possible, expose our students to best practices in terms of every aspect of their education, because we know that this is very crucial. In an increasingly this world, the more you expose your students, the more they will be able to move in terms of mobility across the world. So we are we want them their horizons and the MOUs, the interactions, everything we have can only make our students better. And it can only make our work better. Teacher, you are always um, out to 
look for the best for your students. So we are looking forward to this exchange with various students across the world. And um, we know that it will ultimately make our students better. This is a great view. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we have finished our interview. And Thank you. on behalf of the my colleagues from the conference, I would like to say thank you very much, Professor Omoteshu, you for your time. Thank you. thank you very much. It was a pleasure to speak to you. I also would like to say with you too. thank you to our colleague, Professor Atolani, that Yes, um, come and say hi to him. He, oh, yes. he was just a good hi to you. <laughs> hi. He's, he's here. Okay, okay. Okay. Hi, Professor. Okay. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. It is to, to yes. have the opportunity so, to speak Thank you very you much. Thank Hope you. to see at Hope least... Hope to see you again. again. Yes, this, yes this of course. Next edition, I I I'm, I'm, I hope that we will be the best presenter. Last oh, time we were second. You are already very good presenter. The best presentation, yes. Yes. Yeah. Hope to see more oh, a lot several students from Ilorin in the conference, yes, and yes. we will meet you all thank in you. November. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless. And you too. Thanks. Bye-bye.